Hey gang, good afternoon. We are in Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Hey. Um, we're gonna spend the whole week here hiking, looking around. Not sure how much of each we're gonna do. Um, some hopefully some wildlife sightings, some cool mm -hmm. hikes, some cauldrons, some geysers, some mud pots. That's right. Yeah. Uh, today I think we might try to do the upper loop, which we actually did not do last time we we're here. It was in the spring, and that road. Um, was, was closed yet, still had too much snow. So mm -hmm. we might try to do that, Jason, so we had a little bit of a later start because, yep. uh, why did we have a late start this morning, Dwight? Because <laughs> our, again, not again, but our well, uh, furnace yeah. went out. Yeah, we and so I had to put some new parts in. I always carry spare parts, so we put some new parts in. She's running good now. Woke up around 5 a.m. this morning. It was Jesus, 54 freezing. degrees. I actually think it was 51 degrees. Okay, 51. 51. Either way, it was cold. Yeah, luckily we always have two little electric heaters. Yeah, so, so we, we weren't dying. Ones, so. so I spent the morning fixing that up, mm -hmm. and uh, now we're out just driving around. So this week's going to be about Yellowstone. We're going to bring you some of our hikes, mm -hmm. some of our viewpoints, and uh, hope you guys. All right, gang, we stopped just to start checking out some of the landscape. See the cool mountains with the clouds over there? This is part of the Yellowstone River, and that's the Hayden Valley right over there. So, pretty cool in the landscape because it's two and a, Yellowstone being two and a half million acres, the landscape changes all over this park. We just came north from Fishing Village where we're staying to Canyon Village. This is where we're going just to kind of drive around and then on up to Mammoth Springs today. So, let me give you a little spin around here like grasslands, meadows. Um, so it's pretty, Sharon. and then Sharon, got Sharon right over there. And just following the uh, Yellowstone River up through what they call the lower loop. And we got a little sprinkle on the windshield. It wasn't supposed to rain today, but we are in the mountains. So, you know, we've seen a couple um, bison. That's pretty much the only wildlife we've seen so far, but uh, Today's about just driving around, checking out a bunch of stuff, and um, bringing you guys along. So just enjoy the ride with us. And All right, we're coming up on Canyon Village, 7918 elevation. But there's a visitor center over here. Uh, I believe there's camping over here, Sharon. I believe, I believe so, so, probably. But a lot of. Yeah, but a lot of your trails come off here, like your Grand, the Grand Canyon. Uh, we just passed the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone Trailheads, the North North Rim, South Rim. Um, you can get the Norris from here, Roosevelt, which is where we're going. And we're just going to continue to make this loop. We just passed uh, Dunraven Pass X Access. That's a hiking trail. Um, but over here, we got some steam vents. Pretty cool. Those are all a bunch of steam vents over there, if you can see them. There's one way off in the distance as well. That's the Teton Range over there. I just looked at the map. And there's also Yellowstone Lake hidden in the mountains over here. We'll see that maybe on our travels too. Pretty cool. That's a beautiful landscape, right? All right, gang. Share and speak. Dwight, would you like me to drive so you can do more videoing? <laughs> you notice the angle of this video camera is coming from the driver's seat. <laughs> anyway, beautiful territory. We're going to stop here in just a minute and let Sharon take over so she feels more comfortable and let this motorcycle go by us. It's kind of cool. You can see that wall of rain right over there. You got some coming right, right over there. Nice. There's the sun. There's the sun peeking out over to our right. The mountains really changed the weather. They have their own weather patterns. One side of the mountain will be raining, the other side is sunny. That's deep, Sharon. That's deep. No, it's not deep, it's high. It's high, exactly.
as we came into the scenic overlook on two wheels, he got lots of rain there, medium rain there, just cloud cover there, and then you got sunshiny over there. A little bit of everything here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm glad we chose this to drive around today. A lot of cool stuff to see. We're gonna be doing a bunch of hikes. Um, we just passed the uh, Mount Washburn, Dunraven Pass. We're gonna be doing all those in the next few days. The North Rim, South Rim of the uh, Yellowstone Grand Canyon. And I might even bring Sharon along with me. Oh, nice. Actually in the Tower Falls area, just shy of Roosevelt Village. Pretty cool, the scenery. So there's trails that come out of the Tower Fall area. And again, we're just shy of Roosevelt, Tower Roosevelt, Tower Junction, two and a half miles. So that's where we're heading now. And that's where the lodge and everything is. That's a waterfall to our left. So can't wait to can't wait to hike some of these areas. It's gonna be pretty cool. And two and a half million acres Yellowstone is, and there's such a diverse landscape. From the meadows you just saw, there's mountains. Um, just waterfalls. The waterfalls and the, <laughs> oh wow there's the Yellowstone River right down there below us too but anyway such a diverse landscape can't wait to go out and explore it and just FYI guys that brings up something look, first of all look at this uh, mount look, yeah look at this rock oh, formation Sharon give me some wiper thanks look at that rock formation pretty crazy How bizarre is that wow that's wow I've never seen anything like look that look at that that's crazy Decided to stop and check out Calcite Springs. There's an overlook up here, so we'll see what we got. Calcite Springs, just north of Tower Falls hiking area, but that's the Yellowstone River. Calcite Falls, or Calcite Spring, I guess they call it. But that's a little vent down there. Got some rapids here, pretty cool. Probably towards the tail end of the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, it looks like to us, as far as the positioning of it. All right, so Calcite Springs was named for the milky white calcite crystals that cover the area. Mixed with the calcite are translucent honey-colored barite crystals. That's what gives you the color right over there, the side of that mountain area. That's pretty cool. Nice. That's another view of it. Um, this is part of the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, which we're going to be hiking the rims coming up. But check out this rock formation. All cut from the volcan volcanic actions probably over the millennia. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, right down there you can see the water, the Yellowstone River. I'm glad we stopped. It was a nice little driving tour. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, gang, we're getting in towards the Roosevelt Tower area. Looks like a whole lot of construction, but up north here, as you guys remembered, in 2022, there was a whole ton of flooding in the Tower Junction area right here. Um, so there was a lot of flooding up in the north um, part of, uh, in the western part of, of Yellowstone. So they're working on the roads, as you can see, but the road work is sporadic all over the park. So just like I said earlier, just be aware of it. Stagecoach road. So we're going to head up to Mammoth. And we're going to maybe stop by the ranger station on our way. All right, we're heading up towards Mammoth. That's about 17 or so miles from here. And uh, we went by the lodge 
and it was closed. It closed yesterday, September 4th. So we can't go in there and check that place out. And the ranger station looked like it was closed as well for today. But anyway, we're heading up towards Mammoth and uh, we'll just continue to look at some cool scenery. downpour to almost sunny skies. I guess that's what two and a half million acres will do for you. It's an ever-changing weather landscape. <laughs> Hold on guys, hoping I'm not making you sick. The road, like I said, the roads in here definitely could use some work all the way, all pretty much all over the park. Coming up on a her little herd of buffalo. We'll uh, we'll just kind of well, there'll be plenty of times for us to see that. But on today's drive, I think we're just going to kind of drive right on by if we can. This way, you guys can see them though. There they are. Let me zoom in on them just a little bit from the car here. See them right over there. There'll be plenty more for us to get closer. Not closer, next to them. We don't want to be one of those tourists, but uh, we will definitely be seeing them again. We might try to pull in here, but it looks pretty crowded, so we'll see here in a minute. But if not, we can see them right from here. We got some sows, got some little ones, it looks like. Sharon to roll down our window. There you guys go, now you can see them. Pretty cool. Gardner, Montana, which is the north entrance to the park. That's where Teddy Roosevelt, the monument um, that Teddy Roosevelt made a speech in front of. Maybe we'll get to take a picture and do a little video of that. And there's a bunch of hot springs up there too. You can walk around at, right at the uh, right at the entrance. But man, look at this diverse landscape we've come through, huh? And then the Gardner, the Gardner entrance, the hotel restaurant space there. Mm -hmm. And over here on the right, last time we were here, it was like blistering cold and rainy. These are some of the old original buildings, if you can see them. From one to... Yeah, this is Mammoth Hot Springs. Mammoth Hot Springs. And these are some of the, that's a ranger station right over there on the very end. And these are just some of the old buildings that they had from years ago here. Just to clarify, we're in the Mammoth Hot Springs area. We still got a few more miles to get to Gardner, but this is one of the original entrance spaces to the park up in the north. All right, Sharon, 10% grade, 15 oh, miles oh, an hour. Uh oh, everybody's stopping here for what? Okay, that guy just pulled over. But anyway, on our way to Gardner, I said Gardner earlier, but we're actually coming into Mammoth Hot Springs. But look at this, huh? Wow, look at that. That's cool. 
That is cool. The road down there. Looks like something out of the Coyote and Bugs Bunny, Coyote and Roadrunner out there in the desert. It's so dry here. It is. It looks very arid here, doesn't it? It looks very arid. It's amazing how many different landscapes there are inside this park. guys we just came down the road to Gardner these are all new entrance stations for the park because the original road was part of the roads that got torn up during the floods um, and you can see the arch over there when Sharon and I were here last year we did not come in the way we just came out so we came out over here oh, somewhere oh, over there. all the deer or yeah. wherever they are not deer but uh well, last year when we were here, remember that they were running, deer yeah. were all over the town. But anyway, this is the arch at the Roosevelt, um, the north entrance to the park. This is the, one of your, this is the original entrance to the park. And this is Gardner. Cute little town. We ate ice cream here last year. Uh, pretty cool little place. And we're going to stop here and do a little quintessential picture at the Yellowstone sign and the arch. We made it to Gardner, to the entrance. This is the original entrance to the park, I believe, where Teddy Roosevelt did a big speech. And here comes Sharon, right on through the arch. Look at that. Nice. For the benefit and enjoyment of the people. Very first park, 1872. guys we're heading back to Mammoth uh, from Gardner just be aware this this of course is a new road because the other one got washed out 22 the 22 floods but there's as you jokingly we said earlier 15% grade down just be aware if you're coming from the Gardner entrance into the park it's a 15% grade up at points so if you've got a particular mobile motorhome that won't make that or a car or something just be aware of that so anyway just a little public service announcement i want to see everybody get into a jam because there's no place to turn around for five miles you have to keep going all the way to mammoth springs okay which is where we're heading to go check out that area all right we're back here at mammoth hot springs area but you can see that's the old road that went to gardner it's they've got it they've got it blocked off but it goes around down to here you see it way down there Sharon and I were trying to eyeball it on the way back from Gardner but you can see that they've got a barricade right there that's as far as they will let me go this is employees and stuff staff down there with the RVs but somewhere north of there in behind all those mountains and stuff is where all that washout of the road was so we really can't see it we're trying to eyeball it on the way here but uh, anyway that's the old road that got washed out in 22 while we're here in uh, Mammoth Hot Springs on the way back, I'm going to get my book stamped. Every visitor center has their own stamp. You should always get your passport book stamp. It's just a cool thing. And this visitor center, one of the older ones in the park, of course, it's got a lot of displays and things for interactive stuff. And the rangers are here real cool. So anyway, that's cool. We've got our stamp and we're going to head back towards um, our campground. All right, guys, this is Mammoth, actually Mammoth Hot Springs. You can see all of the heat vents and everything. There's trails all up on side of the, the mountain, I'll call it. Uh, you see some folks walking the boardwalk there. So when you're here in the area, definitely do Mammoth Hot Springs. Pretty cool space. We'll come back a different day and just knock out the whole thing. Again, the terrain changes as we come back. Leave Mammoth heading towards um, Norris. Norris. You notice the video is coming from the driver's seat again, don't you guys? Sharon, I was too scared of my driving. I drive better with the video camera rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. She does hit the corners pretty hard, guys. Let me tell well, it's you. Fun. It's fun. It's fun. Oh, Whoa, it's look at this. Yeah. All right, I had to stop the truck. This was too cool. This is like being up in the Badlands. Look at this. Holy cow. Man. 
It's like being on the Needles Highway. Crazy cool. All right, let's get back into trucking. Keep on keeping on. It's uh, quarter to five right now. We've been on the road since about noontime. that that's bubbling that's some hot water right there coming up out of that holy moly smell the sulfur pretty cool all right we made it to the north geyser intersection sorry about that to the right is the Norris Geysers, which we'll check out another day. To the left is Canyon Village. And straight ahead is Madison Junction. And straight ahead is Madison Junction. But we're, take you to West we're, Yellow. we're going to Canyon because that's going to take us right past there, the Fishing Bridge. Well, kids, that was basically the central loop, right? Isn't that what you call it? The, uh, the upper, upper loop. The upper loop. Yep. Sorry, the upper loop. Um, anyway, that's it in a nutshell. We're going to be hitting it all these other places uh, throughout the week. And I um, wanted to say thanks for watching today. We're getting ready to hit a bunch of road construction. So we'll just sign off now. We're about 10 miles from the campground, thereabouts. And, um, yeah, not much to see in this area. There's not kind much of a see. column of trees on yeah. side. So, so we've been anyway. scanning for bear and moose, but haven't seen anything today. Believe me, we'll be back. If we see a moose or bear, we'll be back. We did see the butt of something. I think it might have been like a big deer. Like elk. an elk or something. Yeah, yeah. probably the big deer. Um, but anyway, so we appreciate you guys watching today. We'll stitch this thing all together. It makes like a, make a little short video of the northern loop. I don't know why I said that. The northern loop. All right. Like, subscribe, comment below. We appreciate you guys. We always do. And have a fantastic day. Bye. Hey, gang, a little bonus footage. We're almost back to the canyon area, and we found this rainbow. Pretty cool. We're going to be getting some more rain here tonight, it looks like. But we just thought you guys would like to see this rainbow. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty, pretty bright. Nice. <laughs>